Live from San Francisco, celebrating 10 years of high-tech coverage, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2019. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back, this is theCUBE live at VMworld 2019. I'm Stu Miniman with my co-host Justin Warren, Dave Vellante, John Furrier, John Walls, John Troyer, like a certain founding founder, Alexander Hamilton, the Cube is going nonstop coverage for the three days. Happy to welcome back to our program two of our Cube alumni, Lynn Lucas, who is the Chief Marketing Officer of Cohesity, and she has brought along John White, who is the Chief Innovation Officer at Expedient. Thank you both for joining us. Yeah, happy to be here. Happy yeah. 10 year anniversary to theCUBE. Well, thank you so much. And uh, you know, so many people we've known over the years. Actually, the first time I met John White was, I believe, in this hall. In this hall, uh, yeah. You know, at VMworld, yeah. uh, you know, talking about what's going on. Uh, so, uh, you know, I always love talking to the service providers because it's been going through just a massive transformation, uh, you know, all along. Uh, and uh, yeah, John, you've got a different title since the last time I uh, interviewed you. You've been involved in the strategy. Uh, you and I have gone to uh, you know, cloud shows together and some of the other things there. So um, bring us up to speed as to you know, Expedient here at the show and uh, uh, what brings you here with Cohesity. Yeah, so yeah, thanks Stu, you're right. Bit, I think it was probably five or six years ago maybe, I asked you, I said, hey, what do you know about the service provider community? Because I wanted to kind of educate you because it was something that's been fairly new. And uh, Expedient's been in that industry for a long time. We were mainly in infrastructure as a service provider, managed service provider, so rounding out all that IT uh, stuff that people need. And uh, this VMworld is a huge one for us. Last year, we launched uh, Enterprise Cloud, which is a product based upon uh, VMware's full software-defined stack. And uh, that was something we wanted to go to market with to give an alternative people when you say, hey, I need to go to the cloud and you realize that, okay, I really can't just take my apps and lift and shift and go there. Um, there's another place for you that's a little, a little more familiar, and as we see, I mean, 20,000 people uh, know VMware, obviously, that are here, so that's usually the, what's usually uh, happening in the enterprise, so we're, we're talking with those folks. And so when we launched that platform, um, we thought about everything uh, differently. We were running virtualization since 06, 07, and we wanted to change everything. Uh, backup platforms as well as needing things like scale out NAS were a necessity at that point. So uh, this VMworlds are coming out because we had uh, released that last year and now we have a lot of good customers to talk about on that platform you know, 12 months later. Yeah, well, Lynn, first of all, congratulations. Because you know, I, I know John sits on customer councils for some of these events. I've dug into a bunch of the networking pieces with him and actually was, you know, we spent a bunch of years, we went to a bunch of shows together and he was looking at the, 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 some of the various vendors and a bunch of the new startups and Cohesity is the one that you know, really stepped up, provided the solution that he was looking for. So uh, it, it's been interesting to hear service providers you, aren't usually the first ones that companies are talking to, but uh, you know, bring, bring, bring us the Cohesity story there. Yeah, and so we're uh, super pleased and honored to have Expedient uh, working with Cohesity. Um, and John has been instrumental in really providing a lot of direction to us on what his needs are and, and how to make the product um, even better for, for him and the service provider community. It's a huge part of our go-to-market strategy. We believe that with the massive growth in the interest in hybrid, and just as John was saying, there's so many customers that really aren't equipped to deal with how do I move to a hybrid cloud strategy, whether that be for compliance reasons, whether that be geographical reasons, I'm sure you've seen them all. Mm -hmm. And so this is something where we feel really thrilled to have VMware's Cloud Partner of the Year. Yeah, right? correct, uh, yeah. Working with us and to help serve customers with the, the Expedient Enterprise Cloud Platform. Yeah, um, mm. yeah congratulations on that to, to, to the team. <laughs> and it's right, when we first met five years ago, public cloud, for VMware and for most of the service bodies, uh, it was the enemy. Uh, right. It's like, oh my gosh, there. Um, you know, you went to Amazon reInvent and uh, could create a little bit of partnership. So, give yeah. us the update on, on hybrid, what that means, and how solutions like Cohesity, uh, you know, help you provide services to your customers. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned. That. I mean, that's you would ask me, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Because it was going out, doing this research, seeing where the market was on containers, on adoption of cloud practices. So, we wanted to make sure that we were very open um, with all the different solutions that are out there, and that's been our strategy 
uh, from, the, from the start. So building enterprise cloud was one thing we needed to do to come to market with a platform like everybody else, but multi-cloud is really where we've been focused. And it's funny, I mean, when I, when I first started coming to VMworld, uh, it was very product-centric. You know, you had this product, you can do X with it, and here's the return that you would get at it. And when uh, you're coming to VMworld now, it's more about platforms. And that's really what I found uh, most interesting with Cohesity when I first met Mohit, probably two and a half, three years ago, was that he was focusing on the platform of data management, and that's really what the problem was. It wasn't NAS specifically, it wasn't data protection specifically, it was what all can you do with that, with that data management. And we're, you know, we're spending a ton of time with Cohesity, uh, and we were building multi-tenancy with them to then be able to support that, and that's what we're delivering on now. So it's, it's, it's the scale out NAS, it's, uh, you know, it's data protection, and then we're taking those services and then putting them in AWS and Azure or wherever it might be, because it doesn't matter to us, because long term we want to care about the you know, long term IT care and feeding and focus on that as our value prop instead of just actually which silo it lives in. Yeah, and right from the very beginning, I remember speaking to Cohesity very, very early on when it had just sort of come out of stealth, and it was baked into the, into the product the idea of, of data management, yep. uh, that it was going to be much more, much more than just data protection. So what are you seeing now that we have a lot of years of product development has, has clearly gone into it since we, we first looked at it then, but what are you seeing customers using the platform for um, here in 2019? Well, we started a little bit more uh, unique than most other customers, I think. We, we, we talked about this uh, you know, throughout Cohesity, and uh, we actually started on a scale-out NAS platform. Right. Uh, so we have uh, one of our, our clients, uh, homes.com, who they're with us uh, this week because they have a really uh, interesting you know, need for this type of enterprise cloud. They're with us and they're talking about all the different benefits they received out of it. And they started actually with on the file side of things. Mm. So homes.com, uh, real estate, online real estate, so think you know, about how many images and how many files you have out there. Mm. We have 2.6 billion images right now running on the Cohesity platform. Billion. So that was 2.6 billion and a 30% annual growth rate. Wow. Yeah, so the numbers are crazy. You can't put those on any other traditional NAS that's out there. Uh, so we use Cohesity first to get started there, and then the backups really were the icing on the cake. Mm. Um, so last October, we built, we started building out the NAS platform uh, to handle those images, and if you actually go to homes.com right now, it's being served fully out enterprise cloud from a container and virtual machine layer, and then on the back end from Cohesity, and then we're using that to protect it as well. Wow. And yeah. I think that, if I add on to that, is really a, a testament to the you know, the foundation that Moet built, which is a true distributed file system, Google-like in that sense, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, John, but you know, you then also saw, wow, that benefit of a platform approach and not another silo mm -hmm. for the backup and having Cohesity help solve the challenges for both files as well as data protection and then maybe one day in the future looking at some of the things that we're doing now that we're doing more security mm -hmm. and running apps and things like that on the platform as that may be an extension for you. Yeah, that's that's definitely a big focus of our effort. The global deduplication that you get with Cohesity, when you add all those files in, all the different customers we have, all the different virtual machines, uh, the ratios we're hitting are just insane. And it's something we decided as a service provider that we, we said, okay, this technology, we actually want to give that benefit back to the customer. And so when somebody buys uh, data storage from us on the data protection, they buy what they're actually consuming on the disk. So you could have 100 terabytes in all of your VMs. If you only need one terabyte, that's all you're buying from us. And that's a lot of the power of that platform that we get with Cohesity. Yeah, so John, I uh, want you to help us understand the nuance of something. Okay. The word platform. Yeah. It has a little bit of nuance <laughs> into a little bit of a loaded thing. VMware's a platform, Cohesity is a platform, you use both of them. So just help us understand how Cohesity and VMware and all those things, they go together, they're not, you know, <laughs> competing against each other in as, as your architecture, or are they? They're, yeah. they're not competing, they're, they're two layers in my opinion, where you have your primary storage really living in, in VMware and secondary storage is everything else on Cohesity. Uh, what the nice thing is, they did a lot of cool things to kind of marry the two together. Mm -hmm. uh, one, of the th one of the tools that we're using inside of Cohesity is called 
called uh, Instant On or Instant Restore a Virtual Machine. So we can actually uh, spin up a virtual machine almost instantaneously. It lives on the Cohesity platform. Once it's rehydrated, it then does a storage vMotion automatically into the VMware environment. So we're able to do migration, or if we had, um, you know, if we have a bad ransomware attack and we need to restore 100 VMs within you know, a few minutes, we can instantly bring those back up uh, in the Cohesity platform and then move them to a production virtual environment once it's done. And that's something that we weren't able to do with our existing vendor and that was something we needed to actually go and focus on because being in the healthcare space, being in the compliance space, that's, that's a big problem for us. Yeah, I would just add, I think that um, VMware is clearly one of our most important partners. The very first area that Moet developed was data protection for VMware. Um, I would say well north of 70, 75% of our customers are protecting their VMware environments. We have um, a very large customer that's protecting over 18,000 VMs on Cohesity. So with the certifications that we have with VCD and with the integrations, as you have mentioned, with uh, vRealize, et cetera, it's really an, it's a partnership um, and we think we're adding a lot of value to the customers that are building on VMware. Yeah, it's very complimentary, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been interesting that, uh, to see how customers are, are choosing to go with the platform like, like Expedient. Because, as you mentioned earlier, Stu, like five years ago, cloud was the enemy, and but we were being told that, oh no, public cloud is going to take everything, and it, it's just going to own all of the environment. Whereas now in 2019, we found that the story is actually much more complicated than that. Some of us probably believed that at the time. I'd <laughs> put my hand up as one of those. Uh, that customers actually need data to live in multiple places. It's not a story of or, it's a story of and. So you do need to be able to have something which can work well with others. And in the same way, we've got, we've got Cohesity and VMware, it's like, well, they're not really competing with each other, they work better mm -hmm. together. And particularly as customers scale, we find like, any, any kind of enterprise customer is heterogeneous. So you have to have solutions that, are, that give them options and that work together well with, you, know, you have to play nicely with others. Yeah. I think that's exactly right, and, and part of what uh, we've done is built a software-defined solution and to also give John and Expedient flexibility. How do you want to deploy for your customers this solution? Is it in the, uh, the hyperscaler? Is it colo somewhere? Is it your own cloud? And so that's part of the advantage, I think, all in one solution that then you can give your customers some flexibility as well as to how they want to uh, consume the service as yeah, well. Absolutely, I mean the flexibility, and you mentioned software only, and or you know software or software defined. That was something that was big for us when we were looking at partnerships. We have a standardized, you know, hardware build that we want to use, and uh, that was all built on Dell. And it was something that you know we were able to work with Cohesity to get that standardized, so we can continue to roll out the SKUs that we were most comfortable with, mm -hmm. and they could just have the software layer on top. Yeah. So you've managed to do this successfully. Yes. It's all going really well. Yeah. What's next? Well, um, you know, we have, you know, so in, we ordered in October of last year. Uh, right now we have six petabytes online and rolling, so that's, that's great, you know, that's, that's good to see. Uh, that's going to continue to grow at a pretty rapid rate. Uh, data is something that obviously we all know is never going to shrink, uh, and we're going to continue to grow that uh, with, with you know, new customer acquisitions and that type of thing. Um, where we want to continue to go with this, uh, this product specifically is on the data management side. The things that they're doing in Helios to start to get understanding and awareness and value out of that data that's sitting there is really, really important and exciting for us in the future. We deal with a ton of compliance, PCI DSS, HIPAA, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, the data that we're storing inside of there will be compliant by those. So, you know, being able to write an application to see if the, the credit card numbers in a file or in a database by using the Cohesity platform, that will provide us value. Same thing goes with a lot of the ransomware uh, protection they're doing. So if you see a file that gets encrypted, then I know, okay, I have a problem. I better go look at that and it'll give me a timestamp to actually go and restore from instead of actually trying to you know, pick around and hopefully I find it, when it before it was encrypted. So right. we're really excited about those opportunities in the future and seeing what data management can just bring to it. Mm. Well, Lynn, always a pleasure to catch up with you. Thank you so much for joining us again. And uh, John, my friend, this is your sixth time on the Ooh, program. Six, uh, that's We're good. actually going to have a celebration in New England in a little over oh a week to gosh. unveil oh for gosh. a six. 
yeah, there. So yeah, uh, right, uh, Pittsburgh right. and New England coming together. <laughs> uh, oh, so uh, for Justin Warren, I'm Stu <laughs> Miniman. Uh, we love talking about sports here. And uh, yeah, the Cube, it, 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 we have the, the, the Niners and the Patriots uh, for, for the team there. But as always, thank you for watching the Cube. Oh! <laughs>